And there are actually a couple thunder showers in parts of the viewing area between Denison and Carroll. You see that little white thing under the O in Doppler. That's a little lightning strike uh, just north of our viewing area, but you might hear a brief rumble of thunder early this morning as those rain showers dive off to our south and east. The rest of us, yeah, it's going to be dry through the remainder of the day. Big old thunderstorms overnight across parts of northern and eastern Iowa. Those are pushing toward Rockford and Chicago right now. This little bank of clouds, a wind shift line that's pushing through, and once that swings through, our winds will turn around to the west, and we'll pull in drier air. You see those dew points in the 30s in the Panhandle, even the 50s in North Platte and O'Neill. That's going to make it feel a lot less humid later on today because we have uh, southwest winds and some pretty humid air early this morning. Yeah, those southwest winds and... They'll be gusting 25 to 35 miles an hour through the first half of the day. Temperatures right now, mid to upper 70s, even officially 80 at the airport. As I mentioned, the winds will be turning around to the west around mid the middle of the day. Decreasing clouds and downright hot this afternoon. High temperatures in the upper 90s, maybe officially hitting 100 in places like Fremont, Epley, and Tacoma. Otherwise, upper 90s, no matter where you are. So remember, if you're going to be out today, keep the water handy and stay hydrated. There are the clouds this morning. There's the wind shift line, that dashed black line. It comes through around the middle of the day. And there's the dry air ahead of our first of two cold fronts. That pushes through tonight. It'll drop temperatures late tonight and into Monday. But it's this second front that's really going to be the game changer. It slowly drops through on Monday. So there could be anywhere between a 25 and 35 degree temperature difference between Norfolk and Falls City on Monday afternoon. Cooler to the north, much warmer to the south. And then as we head into Tuesday, rain becomes widespread and we could get a good soaking out of this. Temperatures are going to stay pretty chilly as a result. 70s to the north, near 80 tomorrow in Omaha, 90 down to the south. But then there's our high on Tuesday, 54 at 1 a.m. And we spend most of the day in the upper 40s. As far as rain goes, we have a pretty good chance, uh, computer miles saying a 100% chance of at least a half inch of rain in Omaha and even a pretty good chance, a 70 to 90% chance that we see over an inch of rain. That's fantastic. We need to see that. Unfortunately, it's going to keep us very cold. Temperatures in the low to mid 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we still keep the clouds around Thursday and Friday. They're going to linger a little later. Spotty showers on Thursday, scattered rain in low 60s on Friday. We won't see the sun next week until Saturday with our temperatures in the 70s.